friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? I am in a different spot today. I'm in my uh, area where I do my listing, kind of, part of my listings for my Etsy. And I've been listing some things in the last week or so that I wanted to just share so that I could just kind of do an update on what I have in my Etsy shop. <laughs> and a lot of these things you may have seen in my little, like, Thrifted Treasures video. But some of the, these things maybe you haven't. So I thought I'd go through them real quick. Just as a little update on my Etsy shop. So just in case there's something you might be interested in. Or um, you know you haven't seen. So welcome to my channel tonight. Hope you all are having a great night. It's Friday night here. and Done with my TV watching. I'm getting ready to go do some crafting. So I wanted to run through these. Uh, these are things I've listed. And they're kind of, uh, I list them, then I put them in a little area where uh, I get ready to maybe do a video on an update for my Etsy shop. And then I put them in their storage spots until they're sold. And I keep them, uh, keep everything in a, all this kind of stuff. I keep the books in a closet. And I keep the other things like vintage items and linens and things in a chest. So everything is kept out of the uh, open where it can get dusty or anything it can't get dusty it's in a chest or in a closet <laughs> so uh you know i try to and, I, and then i keep them organized on certain you know like a shelf in the closet and in my in my chest with a lid so that everything is kept nice and and clean and uh dust free and i don't have any pets or nobody smokes around here so everything is you know doesn't get any pet hair on it and it doesn't get dust on it and it doesn't get a smoke on it so anyway I don't know why I said all that <laughs> just to give you a little update on how I do things and organize my uh, storage while I'm waiting for things to sell but uh, this is a book I did show it uh, just not too long ago but it's uh, I guess I sometimes I'm not sure if I'm going to make a journal out of a book or put it in my Etsy um, and I really love this book. I even had second thoughts when I was actually taking the pictures or getting ready to take the pictures because I really love this book. It's the question and answer book of everyday science. And you can see how cool the cover is. And um, the only, you know, it would be, it would make a great journal. And the pages are also great for a junk journal. You know, look how pretty and colorful. It's a vintage book. And, uh, but I just decided that I would part with this one. I mean, I have a lot of books. Uh, I'll tell you, I mean, look at this inside cover here. Isn't it cool? Uh, and it is, uh, let me see the year again, 1961. So that is, all these things are already listed in my Etsy. That's why I'm showing them, them to you today. Let me just leave this here as a little backdrop because then I know kind of where my frame is. Uh, and I listed this, I think I may have shown you this when I was in Florida. That's when I bought this, and I did buy this for my Etsy. It's a Cracker Jack toy, Cracker Jack toy but it's from Subway, like from a Subway kids meal type of uh, thing. It's in a bag, and it's never been opened. So, I mean, it has a little opening here, but it doesn't look like it's ever been taken out of the bag. I mean, you'd have to open the bag further to get it out. And uh, I saw a date on here of 1999, so it is actually considered vintage because it's 20 years old. So that is in there. It's a magnifying glass, by the way. I think it this goes up and down. Maybe it sticks in there. I don't want to move it around too much because I don't want to break it or anything. <laughs> but that's a little magnifying glass that goes down in the Cracker Jack box. It's plastic. And in the magnifying glass is right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see through this plastic, but it's right here. And then there's a little uh, creature here on the top. A little, um, looks like a puppy dog, probably. Is that a puppy dog or a bear? It might be a bear. I don't know. I think it's a puppy. <laughs> so if you can see through the back there, maybe you can see what it is. But it's pretty cute. So that's in my Etsy. I did go ahead and put this set of little playing cards. It's a mini playing cards. If you can see how small it is in my hand. They're called Little Lulu Playing Cards. Now the box is still, you know, it is how it is. It's worn, and these are pretty old, you know, good good, good age. They're, um, I'm not sure what year they are, but they're, they're fairly old. And 
Uh, they're small, and uh, oh, they're all in there. I counted them when I first got them, and it's by Hallmark, little Lulu playing cards. So really super cute, and that's the picture on all of them. And then the other side is regular playing cards, you know, Ace of Spades and, you know, all that King, Queen, all that stuff. Uh, this is another item I've put in my Etsy shop. I did buy this for my Etsy shop. It's a little metal toolbox. It is a tool chest with safe vinyl tools. You can see it's pretty uh, worn, but I just I really like that. I don't care if it's worn or not. If I needed a little storage box, I would keep it. It's kind of like a little tin, you know, box or me it's metal. Here it says rubber-like vinyl tools, safe, safe, soft, non-marking. It has a little emblem here. You can see it's green inside and worn inside too. I did wipe it down, and that's about. I think that's as clean as I can get it. But uh, you know, I like the um, rusticness of it, so it might not be perfect, but I think it's still still super cute. I just don't need it for storage, so I'm put put it in my Etsy. Uh, I did go ahead and put this. I showed this label maker uh, before when I was trying to get it to work and I uh, couldn't get it to work and uh, no one had said that they wanted it or anything when I showed it in my video. So um, I had my son look at it I had, and he's a mechanic. I had my husband look at it. I looked at it. I'm pretty fairly mechanical myself and no one could get it to work. So apparently it was broken, and we so I don't have it anymore. There was no, there was no fixing it and no saving it. But I do, still have the box, and it's this is a Sears label maker. It was uh, what was it from 19? Um, the date is here on the instruction booklet that is in with the, with the box, and I left everything else in here. There's it's in my Etsy, and I have the number of. Uh, there's like so many of these plastic little containers of labels in here a lot if you can see you know in the video here and these little uh, wheels that go inside the label maker are in here and the instruction booklet which if I can see the date I'll tell you again real quick it was something like 1960 or something like that it's pretty old and I thought for sure it was going to work when I got it because it just looked it looked like it was going to work. It looked kind of like new. I mean, look at this box. <laughs> but it did not work. So, anyway, that's in my Etsy for what it is. The labels. There's, I mean, those are worth something. All those labels and the wheels and the box. If somebody does have the label maker, there you go. You have a whole little storage box and things to use with the label maker. Okay, so the next thing is this cookbook I put in here. And I really thing about I love about this it's a Women's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery and the thing I like about this is the pictures in here and the inside I love this and then this these vintage uh, cook recipes and pictures in here are really really nice so I went ahead and put that in my Etsy I mean look at that <laughs> so cool and so, yeah, that is in there. Look at that pretty page. Tomato cookbook. So really nice. This is a really nice one, so I wanted to go ahead and offer that in my Etsy. And let's see before I do that one. This I don't think I, I don't know if I should, yeah, I think I did show this on one of my videos, one of my thrifted videos, thrifted treasures videos. This is a really super nice cookbook, and I kind of wanted to keep it, but... Um, I just can't keep everything, you know what I mean? I have a lot of books and I just cannot. So when I find something that I, you know, I love, I'll go ahead and get it. Even if I can't keep it, I will offer it in my Etsy. And this is a super, super nice big cookbook here. I mean, look at all these pages. First of all, if you want a cookbook, it would be great for that. Or if you want to use the pages in junk journals, they're beautiful with these blue um, accents on all the pages very pretty so I love and I love this too very pretty so it's a nice McCall's cookbook I love the co cover it would make a great junk journal too that only you know there's nothing wrong with it uh, it's all intact together strong the only thing I saw was right here a little split tiny split right right there but that's it so uh, let's see what else have I listed I have listed 
these all of these uh, little cookbooks. There's more somewhere here. Let me see. I'm going to try to go kind of quick, so this can just be a quick video. And plus, I'm kind of in an un uncomfortable spot here <laughs> in my room. Not my craft room, another room. So, uh, yeah, I listed a bunch of these uh, little booklets, cookbook booklets. And they're super cute and pretty. I like to pick out the nice, pretty ones. So, those are in there. And most of those... Most of these are vintage. I think there's only one here that's not vintage, which I haven't shown you yet. When I find it, I will show you. I have a lot of these gross, old grocery receipts, and I uh, had these in my craft room, and I am using them, but I decided, you know, there's a lot here, and I needed to share them, so I did list these. They're just old, really super old uh, grocery receipts from receipts from a locally closed a uh, long time ago uh, grocery little grocery store like a mom and top pop grocery store they're handwritten they're from 19 a lot of them from from the uh, like late 1940s like 1949 and this one says 1954 so I'm just sharing those so that you know and they have the carbon they have the carbon on the back and there I think there's some in here that are not used yeah you know, like this one's not used even so those are I just think those are really cool. So I decided I needed to share those because I have so many of them. <laughs> and I think that was my intention. And then I put them away in my my craft room and kind of forgot about them. So when I reorganized, I said, you know, I need to go ahead and share some of those. And then I've listed I have lots of these uh, cook cook, you know, recipe recipe library cards, I guess they're called. And so I have listed these. Um, these are the sizes and the, you know, everything, all the information is in my Etsy shop. I'm just showing you what I have put in there uh, and what's available uh, so that I can put these away now that I've listed them, you know, in my shop. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to keep these in order. <laughs> okay. Now I've had this for a little while and I was going to keep it for myself because I've mentioned before that I love Curious George, <laughs> but a little like one of those little pinball machines it's plastic it's super cute it's curious George um, it's in perfect condition nothing wrong with it or anything I just decided that you know I've had it for probably a year in my craft room I was like you know I don't know why I'm keeping this I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put it in my Etsy and so it, it's in there and it's super cute so that is ready to go <laughs> uh, let's see recently Okay, so here's a book I've um, listed. I, I moved that book, that, which is my background. But George Washington, uh, Meet George Washington. I've listed several of these, like, you know, history type um, books. And I just think they're really super nice. So this one is in there. As you can see, the pages are really nice and pretty. And it's like kind of like reader style. So, you know, I would say it's a children's. Here's a little bit of wear right here. But otherwise, there's no... I think most of these books that I've gotten that are historical kind of things like this have a name right in the first page or so. And that's it. That's the only writing in the whole book. So this is in there. It's a really pretty one. And this is in there. A little, another little recipe booklet. But this one is cute. It looks like a Lipton soup mix box, if you can see the shape here. And it's nice inside. Little pages. I think this one wasn't vintage, maybe, uh, but it was just super cute. And it can be used for, you know, I mean, you can make a junk journal out of this cover. That would be super cute. So it's a supply or a cookbook, 2006. Yeah. I just thought it was super cute. And I was thinking about making a junk journal out of it. But like I said, I can't keep everything. So that's in my Etsy. Uh, these buttons I got in something, some sewing stuff that I bought. And I, you know, these are just buttons that I can, can't can use. And I know people actually sew and make things with buttons. So, <laughs> you know, I thought maybe someone could use these buttons. So these are in my shop. That's what they look like. Just little white um, fabric covered buttons. If you can see the texture on there. Uh, so if somebody needs those, those are in my shop. Got a bag of those, and 
Yep, just need to sell those because I don't I don't need those. Um, I was uh, crafting with some of these, but I haven't been using these lately. Uh, all these are in one listing. Uh, they're just miscellaneous game pieces. There's uh, squares with letters, and there's some little tr red triangles in here. These are just miscellaneous game pieces. There's even a little wooden pieces. It's really neat. This looks like it might be from a sorry game. There's a little marble, marble piece. There's a couple of little Monopoly hotel and a house in there. There's some little, um, I don't know what these are from. I don't know. They kind of look like, uh, I'm trying to see how thick they are. They're kind of like, a, they're round plastic discs. I don't think they're tiddlywinks. They're not. They're a little thicker than that. So I don't know. They're from a game, some game though. So, <laughs> but all these are together in one listing. I thought I'm not using these. Kind of a D stash thing. Just uh, one listing is is all this. All these game pieces. So I'm sure someone can use these. I was using them. Like I said, these right here. These colorful ones. These are magnetic, with the black. They're mag. They're um, numbers and letters on the front. They're black on the black back, and I believe those are magnetic. Let's see. Um, let's do this. I'm sorry, i got to move around. My foot's falling asleep here. <laughs> like I said, I'm in a weird position here. Uh, let me just move some things over here to show you. A few more things. I've been listing a lot because I just need to, you know, if I bring it in, i got to... Let it go back out or else I'm just going to be overpowered here with stuff. <laughs> so these two little books I've listed when I brought those in, they were for, I kind of thought about about making a journal with these for a minute and then I thought, you know what, these are so cute. I'm just going to put them in my SC. So these two little, little books, they're old, both of them, vintage and uh, super cute little miniature books that are old. So... I picked those up when I was in Florida. This one's a board book. And this one has paper pages. But this is a Tom Thumb book. It's called Brownie Bear's Wish. Super cute. It does have this wear on the back. But otherwise, I think it's in perfect condition. This one is in perfect condition. It's a board book. So it's really super cute. So that. Um, these are... These are neat little uh, collectible Disney cards, and some of them are puzzles, and some of them are just cards, but this, there's a listing for these, like, see this one? This one I'm calling a puzzle card. It has, comes apart, I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but it comes apart like a puzzle. There's some like that. There's some that are not puzzles. Uh, let's see, this one has, like, that's a punch out, that guy right there, punches out. This guy punches out. These are Notre, what is it, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like some of them are just solid, like this. And I'm trying to find one. There's one, some that are like an actual puzzle. Let me, let me see if I can find one real quick because there's, those are super cool. Let's see, is there one here? No. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, here's one right here, if you can see that in the camera. It's actually a puzzle. Hopefully you can. Hopefully that's showing up in the camera. So I have a couple bags of those that I'm, you know, selling sets of whatever I put in there. I don't know how many I put in there in the, in the listing, but I have some of those available. Let's see. So that's Hunchback of Notre Dame Disney cards. And this right here, a little, uh, what is this, brass or copper or something? I think it's brass. But that is in there. It's a little vintage vase. It looks really cute with a bud. It's like a bud vase. That's in there. This is a neat little, whenever I find these, I put these in my Etsy because they are vintage and these are. Uh, pretty strong. Um, I used things like this growing up in my, in my mom's kitchen, so whenever I see them, it reminds me of my mom's kitchen. And so I always buy them because I know how strong they are. 
she still has them and she got them for a wedding present. I remember her telling me, I think hers are Echo, E-C-K-O. Uh, but um, this is, uh, this is um, what brand is this? This is Stanley. And uh, so her Echo, I mean, she said she got them for a wedding present and she still has them. They're still usable, still strong and still together. So this reminds me of the Echo. So this is like a, uh, what, a pie or cake server with the sharp edge right here. So, uh, I really like these, so whenever I find one, I put it in my Etsy. <laughs> and then this is another cool kit. I think I have another one in there. And this one was really cute because I had to get it because it's mushrooms. And, you know, I love mushrooms. And it's a little, what is it, what's in here? Everything's in here. I think it tells, there's a list right here of what's in here. I made sure everything was in here. And everything's in here except for the needle. It mentions a needle, and I didn't see a needle because this one is open. The other one in my shop is not open, but this one was open. So I looked to see, like, the yarn and the frame and the fabric and the instructions are in here. Everything's in here except for the needle. So I thought that was just really cute. And so I went ahead and get, got it to offer it in my shop. And just a couple more things. One of my subbies said they like dinosaurs or they were looking for dinosaurs for their grandson maybe or something like that so when i saw this i had to get it i but i don't know who it was now <laughs> because it was uh, i think in one of my comments but i haven't been able to find the comment where someone mentioned they were looking for a dinosaur stuff so i went ahead and got this and it's in my shop for for whoever whoever wants it <laughs> a dinosaur uh, book so really cool nice spot dinosaur book uh, oh, here's the other, let's see, here's the other recipe booklets, whoops, a little slippery, yeah, here's the other recipe booklets, I think this is the one that wasn't vintage right here, let me see if that's it, or maybe, no, I think all these were vintage, most of these were vintage, I think it was this one that wasn't vintage, but I really like this one because it has the like the uh, recipes are in card shapes, so you can actually cut them out into recipe card shapes if you wanted to. And then these are all just really pretty, nice, uh, you know, little recipe booklets. So those are in there. And last but not least, what do I have? About three more things here. This is a pretty tea towel that. Um, has like an Easter basket with Easter eggs in it right there and it's this pink and white really pretty so that's in there and here's another tea towel under here this is the cats the one with the cats I had showed this in one of my thrifted treasures really pretty uh, little cat tea towel and then this is uh, I don't think I've shown these I think I just brought these home and listed them but uh, these are like quilted they're not pieces, it's just a piece of fabric that has been quilted. You know, it's got uh, this on the back, this pretty kind of paisley looking, uh, almost paisley looking. It's not paisley, but it's kind of paisley looking to me. Turquoise-ish uh, fabric for, it's a pillow sham, not just a pillow case, it's a pillow sham. And I'm trying to see how thick the... Uh, yeah, see here's the quilting in here. You can see it through on the inside. And then here, and these are standard size. You know, they're not queen or king or anything. These are standard, but they're so pretty. I wanted to uh, offer those in my shop, and there's two of them. So I usually try to buy my pillow shams. When I put pillow shams in my shop, I like to offer them if I find some really pretty ones like this that are quilted or crocheted or something, I put them in my shop. So, like I just sold some uh, crochet, crochet uh, pillow shams, and I thought they were so pretty, I actually wasn't sure whether I was going to use them in my crafting or offer them in, in my shop, and I ended up not cutting them, and put. I ended up just putting them in my shop as pillow shams. So, they have been purchased. But I now I have these in there, and I have some 
more things to list. I'll be keeping going with my listing because uh, I just, whenever I find something that I love, I if I don't use it in my crafting, then I put it in my shop. So, but it can't just keep coming in. It's got to go out. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to organize these now into their storage areas, and I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed that update. I love uh, showing you uh, what's in my shop and, you know, working on my shop. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Happy thrifting and happy crafting.